Cancer. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your reading. Uh, just going to say everything you need to know is in the description box. Today is the new moon in Scorpio. This is the 13th. This is a time when we are going to be our true authentic selves. Okay, it's a time where things are going to be revealed. Uh, it's also a time too where you'll, you'll kind of start seeing, you know, with that Scorpio energy, you can see right through things, right? So if someone's not being real with you, you're going to notice, okay? That's going to be that energy. So it's a time for us again to be authentic. So with that, uh, Cancer, let's just get started here with your reading. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. We got Fortune's Wheel and we also have the Love Card. Okay, something's uh, changing here in Love Cancer. So let's get a couple more shuffles and we will cut the deck, see what the energies are here for you, Cancer. All right, let's cut this deck. All right. Oh, beautiful. We have the sun card. We have the six of air. We have the six of fire. Okay, so now we have repeating sixes. So sixes may be important to you. I see sixes as also um, an energy of peace and harmony. All right. So I do feel like there's a direction here. Something is moving in a direction of harmony here. The six of fire, six of wands is also a victory energy. So something's changing. I just said here, something's changing here. Now it could be something that's very important to your heart. It doesn't have to be love because that love card can also be something very special to you, but it also can be in love. There's something to here, right? This is my yes card with the sun card. Card, it's also telling you there's something here with a lot of potential a lot of potential a lot of happiness joy let's see what's on the bottom of the deck bottom of the deck here oh wow look at that we got the hierophant hierophant energy so uh, we got taurus energy i'm also picking up aries leo sag strong leo uh, aquarius libra gemini and hierophant here so this could be a change this could be moving towards a relationship, but some of you, this could just be an energy of um, some sort of big change here that's leading to a victory here in your life. And look, you've got the two of wands also here as well, okay? So I feel like a uh, counselor, someone is making some sort of decision. There's some sort of plan here. Six of air also could talk about distance. I'm just going to say some of you, um, this could be uh, something to do with long distance or somebody, maybe there has been distance between you and someone. Some of you could be actually, you know, this can talk about relocation, relocation or travel. So let's, uh, let's see here. Maybe some of you are planning to do some travels here. Definitely get boat energy. <laughs> Maybe some of you are going on a cruise or something like that, but let's see what the energy uh, shows here. Okay. I also get here too. There could be someone, uh, in, you know, either you or someone you're dealing with, uh, there could be something around um, values. Okay. Maybe beliefs. Maybe some sort of change here regarding values or beliefs, but let's see what the energy shows here. Okay. Wow. Wow, Cancer. Look, there you are on the bottom of the deck. That's important here. And we have the Ace of Cups. There's some sort of love opportunity here, Cancer. I talked about change here. So a, a love opportunity, or this could be uh, you moving in a direction towards something that is bringing you a lot of happiness, peace. We do have the Knight of Pentacles here as well. Okay, so this could be an upcoming message, some sort of change. I also see this as change and something that is 
changing, bringing reliability. Could also be somebody interested in you, Cancer. So let's see what else the energy shows here for you, Cancer. What else does Cancer need to know? Please share it with Cancer. I'm just going to move these down because I don't feel like the camera is picking that up. What else does Cancer need to know? Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at popped out here. We got judgment. The wheel. Didn't we just see the wheel when I cut the deck? We did. Three major arcana cards here, Cancer. Yeah, something's changing here. Something's changing, I feel. And look at this. Got the Hierophant again with the Three of Cups, Cancer. And you got a Three of Pentacles. I feel like, Cancer, there is something here changing in your love life. I feel like there's something here leading you towards a relationship. I don't necessarily believe that it's, uh, you know, per se, uh, somebody here from the past, but it could be. I feel like some of you are closing out a cycle here of the past. Okay, and there's a new opportunity, but let's keep going. What else can you share with Cancer? What else does Cancer need to know? Please share with Cancer what they need to know. Please share it with Cancer what they need to know. Okay, interesting. We have a Knight of Wands. That Knight of Wands here, okay. Just going to say you have Scorpio. We talked about New Moon and Scorpio. You have Scorpio here on the bottom of the deck, okay. We're going to clarify because... I feel like this could go in either direction here. Now, because the Knight of Wands can also be like your next lover here. A new love, a new lover coming in could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We do have the Death Rebirth card. So some of you could be moving on uh, from a situation or something significant is changing here. You know, we did see that energy of change. We got the Wheel of Fortune here, which is also about change. Okay. Wow, I didn't even get a chance to do anything. And then here is the Three of Wands energy. Some sort of opportunity is coming your way. Now, some of you could be making a decision to move on from a situation that you feel is over, you feel is done with. Uh, maybe turning your back um, on the past, moving forward. You know, this could also talk about, you know, New Moon and Scorpio, you being true and authentic with yourself. Okay, maybe feeling a situation of the past. Okay, maybe a lot of you have grown, okay, from a past situation. And now you're deciding here to move forward here. Okay, there's a there's a lucky twist of fate with this Wheel of Fortune. What else can you share with Cancer? Please share with Cancer what they need to know. Please share with Cancer what they need to know. All right. Seven of Pentacles, okay. Seven of Pentacles here. I see you in reflection, Cancer. This could be somebody thinking about you. This could be somebody returning in your life here. We're going to have to clarify. We do have uh, the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So there is some sort of romantic opportunity here, Cancer. We're going to clarify because uh, I feel here it's a little, little unknown right now. But I see change, transformation, new beginnings. I see uh, maybe something here you've been looking for, okay? Or making a decision about. Or someone could be making a decision about you, Cancer, because we do have the two of fire here on the bottom of the deck. And that shows me that there's somebody here planning. So let's clarify this Knight of Wands. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Okay, yeah, new beginnings with the Eight of Wands. Cancer, there's somebody coming in hot. <laughs> somebody coming in hot for you, some sort of new love situation. Tell me more about this Death Rebirth card. Tell me more about this Death Rebirth card here. Okay, six of swords and the seven of swords. Okay, I have to say, Cancer, wow, you know what I'm really picking up? And 
you know, every reading every day is not going to be for everyone. But I feel like there is someone who lied or somebody who cheated in the past from you. And I feel like you're moving on from that. That's what it's really showing me here that you're moving ahead because look at the next card is here. You have the Ace of Cups. I feel like there's a new opportunity of love coming in for you. You've got justice here as well. And look at that. You've got the, hi the Hierophant. I feel like what Spirit's trying to show you is that there is some good karma coming your way. I feel like you're moving on from, you know, it could just be people in general, people who have lied and haven't been honest. Um, you know, maybe even somebody that there was an ending and you feel like this person is avoiding you. I feel there's an energy of change, okay, heading towards a victory, and either your higher self is telling you this, or this is um, a connection here that is leading to a relationship, a commitment here, could be a Taurus, all right, so let's uh, continue to clarify here, sorry, my dog is barking, Okay, yeah, look at that. Page of Wands, again, a card of communication. What's interesting, and as I was just about to clarify judgment, you have the three of pentacles. So what's interesting here is that you could hear from somebody from the past because there is one, there is uh, more than one opportunity. Very interesting. Okay, yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. Knight of Cups uh, and the Two of Cups, and we also have here the Three of Swords. Okay, so what I'm picking up, Cancer, is I feel like either you have moved on from a situation or you're, you're making that decision to move towards something new. What's very interesting, I feel there is a new love coming in for you pretty quickly, okay, is what I'm getting here with the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. But I feel like also there's somebody here from your past. Some of you, you could uh, have children with this person, okay? Or there's something here about children. This person here, I feel like you're going to hear from this person, okay? Here it is, three of wands. More than one opportunity here. Let's clarify the seven of pentacles. Tell me more about the seven of pentacles. And I feel like because we got the Scorpio card, it is going to be uh, during Scorpio season. We have the star card here and we have the tower. All right. And look what showed up again. We have the three of wands. So tower and the star card, we got Aquarius energy. You know, I feel like there's someone, okay, it's probably this person from the past, somebody that you've had an investment with. I feel like what's happening here, there's some sort of change here with the wheel. It's almost like you start to move on towards new love and something unforeseen happens with this wheel, okay? It's bringing about some sort of big change is what I'm getting here. So let's see what this change is. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. Wow, Cancer. Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Wands. Burdens being released. You being at peace here. Six of Wands. Victory. Success. It's the same card that we saw over here. The Six of Wands. I feel like, Cancer, there's some sort of big shift that's happening here. And I'm, I just have to be honest. I feel like for a lot of you, it's you moving on from a past situation. Some of you, I feel like this is someone who's just always been casual with you, right? They've never been able to really, uh, it almost feels like someone you've never really had that very solid foundation with. But I feel like you're going to hear from this person, okay? And I feel like this could be somebody who wasn't honest in the past, Somebody, I feel like nothing changed with this person and that's why you have been, you have decided or you are making the decision to move forward, okay? But I see this person thinking about you, okay? And maybe that's what they're seeing. They're seeing this big change in you, Cancer, and it's making them think. And then here's the tower, okay? Now I'm going to clarify this tower because... There's something unforeseen, I feel, that's about to happen. Tell me more about this tower. Because I feel like this person is not going to 
they're not completely content, um, I feel, about you moving forward. Tell me more about this tower. Tell me more about this tower. Okay, so we got the Ace of Swords. That's epiphany, realization, energy. Tell me more about this tower. It's also communication. Yep, Six of Cups. Yeah, you're going to start to hear from someone in your past, okay? As I feel you are moving forward, you're moving in a new direction. It's almost like this person sees like you're okay with them not being in your life anymore is really what I'm getting, okay? Or they see you kind of moving in a different direction, you letting go, Okay, so you letting go of a situation you feel like isn't working. And then what happens? This person here, they realize how much they really miss you and then and they reach out. Okay, yeah. And then look, nine of wands. I feel like you got someone here in the past who, who is not going to give up that easily. And even if they're not contacting you now, don't tell me. No, that's not the case. Okay, because this isn't now, this is upcoming energy. I feel that this person, once I feel like they start to realize that you're moving on, that you're, you're done, okay, I feel like that's what happens here. This person like has this epiphany, this realization, and you got the Knight of Cups here. I feel like there's someone here too. Some of you, it does feel like there could be an apology because... I do see an ending here. And then the next card is the Queen of Cups, your energy. So Cancer, I want to talk about this new love energy. Let's see what we can uh, find out. I'm looking for the deck that I want to use. Let's see what we can find out about this new love, okay, before we get into anything else here, because I feel like some of you, it could be the idea, but I actually see communication. I see a new start here with that Ace of Wands. Tell me more about this new love energy, and then we can kind of go back to this other energy I'm picking up, because you're going to have more than one option here. Okay, so if this is someone who made you an option in the past, well, you're the one who's going to have options. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What can you tell me about this new love that's coming in for Cancer? Wow, <laughs> didn't I say it? This is the Ace of Cups energy. Yeah, Cancer, there is a new love. Look at that full card on the bottom of the deck here. With the Ace of Cups, there's some sort of new beginning here some sort of new beginning and i feel like a lot of you are taking that risk that leap of faith because i feel like there was someone who wasn't honest with you or somebody um who really avoided i feel communicating to you where things were going and i feel like that is just not sitting well with you and i feel like a lot of you are making this decision or your higher self is telling you to move on from a situation what else can you share with Cancer about this new love coming? Oh, coming in. Wow, that just flew out there. Yeah, three of wands. Okay, so Cancer, they're telling you here, you need to look, right? You need to do something you need to envision, right? For, you know, to manifest this new love. But I feel like too, this is someone who I feel, this is a, a very, um, someone who's very adventurous, I feel like this is someone who is not real, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but not real rigid, someone who will take action. You also have here the magician, okay? So some of you, you know, if you are not doing anything right for new love in your life, they're telling you, you need to, you need to look, right? What, whatever it is, whether you get out online, you go out, right? Making yourself available. They're telling you, you got to make the effort here. Okay. But some of you, this could be a new person. If you're already like, you know, making yourself available, then this is someone I feel that they're going to put in uh, the effort. This is someone too, I feel who's um, this new love, somebody who's uh, highly educated, or they're really like um, a high achiever is the energy that I'm getting. Definitely getting to an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But what else does Cancer need to know about this new love energy? What else does Cancer need to know? What else does Cancer need to know about this new love energy? 
Oh my gosh, Cancer. The Four of Wands. This could be somebody you could be in a relationship with. I feel like, too, there's an energy of you and this person. Both of you are very creative people. Very creative people. There's also a sense of... Um, of freedom. So I do get a, an energy here of a freedom, adventure. Uh, so you may feel like this person coming in is very adventurous. Let's just get a couple more before uh, we get into this other energy here of this other past person I'm seeing. What else can you tell Cancer about this new love? Okay, Eight of Wands. All right. So I feel like Cancer, the energy is shifting here. Um, and this actually is also a car to travel. So this could be someone that you travel with. You and this person may enjoy traveling together. Um, there's also an energy here of good news. So I feel like this is someone who you will probably get a lot of texts or messages from this person. You got the eight of wands twice here. So I feel like as some of you are like available right now you and you are looking for love, I feel like this could be an indication somebody new is coming in. Uh, and I feel like it's during Scorpio season, Ooh, which is very uh, soon here. Okay, these three came out. We'll see what uh, also shows up for you, Cancer. Okay. Got the Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor, and you have the Five of Wands. Competition here, Cancer. Competition. You got this person here, okay? We got an Emperor here, too. We got Aries Energy. So there could be somebody else. Um, I, I feel here that could be a bit stubborn. Um, somebody I feel here is very successful. They could even own their own business. Uh, somebody very disciplined, okay, a little bit withdrawn. So if that's somebody here from the past, this could even be, I'm just going to say, someone that you were married to in the past. Uh, you got the Ten of Pentacles, and you also have here the Five of Wands. This past person is going to compete for you, Cancer. <laughs> but I almost feel like they're not going to do that until they see you kind of moving on here which is interesting, right? Because why can't they do that when, you know, you're not, uh, you know, moving towards something new here. So I see competition, can Cancer. I see uh, different energies here. Let's see what the Love Oracle has to say. What else does Cancer need to know? Please share it with Cancer, what they need to know. I think Cancer... Um, for this other person, I see somebody from the past. I think I'm going to do um, at the end, I'm going to do just one card, all signs, like what they're thinking or feeling. Okay. So you got legal matters here. Now, some of you, there could be a legal separation or divorce, but it, it's also judgment. Yeah. And change. This could be somebody coming back around saying they've changed. I want to change things. Let's see what else. Yeah, home. And I feel like the hard part for you, Cancer, is that this is someone you're going to feel at home with. This is someone you feel comfortable. Maybe some of you shared a home with this person, too, uh, is what I'm getting. Okay, yeah. This is someone you may have felt rejected from. This could be someone you felt ghosted, felt ignored. Yeah, it's an ex-lover. Yeah, this ex-lover is coming back around, and I feel like, Cancer, you are someone who um, a lot of you are moving towards a new energy here, and it's showing me here that there is, there is definitely possibility here for a relationship, if that's what you're looking for, and then look at you got, the roll of the dice. So you're going to have to make a decision, Cancer, is really what I'm getting here, and look, third party. So I feel like, um, you know, it's possible that your person, there is a third party, but I really feel like cancer, this is going to be you because I feel like there's a new love coming in for you. And you're the one who's going to have to make a choice here. Now, this could be someone who involved you in a third party because they did feel like there is someone who wasn't honest, someone who lied. Okay, maybe somebody who thought uh, the grass was greener. 
on the other side. What else does Cancer need to know? And then we're going to do all signs for this person. But Cancer, I feel like a lot of you are moving in a new direction. Okay, so we got friends here. Some of you may decide just to be friends with this person, even though there's romantic feelings here and affection. Some of you may be in that place, you know what, um, I, I'm just tired of this energy. I'm tired of this energy. I'm looking ahead. I'm moving forward. It's going to be your decision because I feel like this is someone who broke your heart in the past. Somebody who, you know, they just couldn't be honest with you is really what I'm getting. Somebody who wasn't clear with you. You never, I feel like you always felt some uncertainty, some doubt from this person. But here they come, reconciliation. Yeah, this person's going to try, Cancer. I don't know if you're going to allow them to try. But let's get um, one card here for all signs. I'll start with Earth, Earth signs. This will be what they're thinking or feeling about you. What is this person thinking or feeling about Cancer? We're going to start with Capricorn. What is Capricorn thinking or feeling about Cancer? Three of Wands. Well, they feel like you've turned their back. You've turned your back on them. They feel like you're looking at new options, which is interesting, because there is the Ace of Cups, uh, you know, an option coming in, or they maybe feel like you have other options. All right, what is uh, Taurus feeling or thinking about Cancer? Oh, I got two. We got the Hierophant. Interesting. That's Taurus energy and the Strength card. Okay, they feel like you're holding back. Definitely feel like they're holding, you're holding back from them. Um, there's something here too. They want forgiveness. I feel like they did something here and, and they may want forgiveness about it. But they feel like you're being strong. They may even feel like you have a little bit of ego. I'm just saying. Okay, let's get Virgo energy. What is uh, Virgo thinking or feeling about cancer? Okay, they want another opportunity. There it is. Judgment and the Ace of Coin. Let's do Aries. What is Aries thinking or feeling about cancer? Okay. Eight. They're up in their head here. Okay. They're up in their head. They're, they're stuck right now on their thoughts here. Okay. They don't know how to move forward here with you, cancer. There's your energy. What is Leo thinking or feeling about cancer? Two of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, here's another one. Leo is feeling like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know how um, we can start over is what I'm getting. This person can't make a decision. They're up in their head. They know things need to change. Some of you, this could be someone who maybe they work a lot, but... They're in indecisive mode right now. They don't know how this is going to work between the two of you for some reason. Let's get, uh, what is Sagittarius thinking or feeling about Cancer? Four of Swords and Five of Cups. Okay, Sagittarius thinks a lot about disappointing you, Cancer. Look at that. There you are on the bottom of the deck. Okay. They have regrets. Sagittarius has a lot of regrets here. All right. Who do we have left? We did earth, fire. Let's do water. What is a cancer? If you're dealing with another cancer, feeling about cancer. Two of wands and the five of wands. Yeah. This person is planning, but they just feel like right now you and them are not on the same page, okay? Um, I also feel here too, this is someone like they're still stuck on you, but they're struggling here because they feel like you and them are not on the same page about what you want, or there could be third-party interference here. Okay, what is Scorpio thinking or feeling about cancer? Okay, they feel like you're holding back. <laughs> There's Cancerian energy again on the bottom of the deck. But it's also a card that they don't want to let you go with that Four of Pentacles. 
What is um, Pisces feeling about Cancer? There you are, temperance. Okay, there's a lot of emotion here. A lot of deep emotion here. Okay, how can we heal this? How can we bring balance back here? Okay, um, is what I feel. So this person's in their feelings about you, Cancer. Look at that. There's the King of Cups there too, the counterpart. They do see you as a counterpart. Um, all right, let's go to uh, Air. What is... Uh, Aquarius thinking or feeling about cancer. Justice. Justice and the hangman. This is someone having some epiphanies and realizations about how do we make things right here. But I also see delay. Okay. But um, they're going to see things in new perspective and it may even be through karma. Uh, they may be going through some karma. Thank you, spirit and angels, for your guidance. What is uh, Libra thinking or feeling about cancer? King of Swords. and the, the Okay, so Libra is trying to figure out. They're trying to find a solution here, okay? Trying to find a solution. Uh, I feel like this is someone who is trying to find a solution before communicating with you. And I also get here to um, it may be spying on you as well. Okay, right now um, they're trying to make uh, some decisions and choices and find a, a solution here of how to change things. Okay, how is Gemini thinking or feeling about Cancer? Seven of Pentacles. Well, they're doing a lot of soul searching, doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of reflecting. I do feel like this is someone who is taking some time to real reflect about things and they are thinking about what's invested or what, how much time has been invested in this connection. You do have the Seven of Cups here as well. Okay. So again, uh, this, they're really, uh, I feel like they could be in their emotions here and you know they're trying to it's almost like they're trying to make the right decision or the right choice here about a situation so cancer i hope uh, you enjoyed your reading i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel love